Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be making half moon yarn hangings that look something like this. Yesterday I went onto Instagram after having made this hoop yarn hanging. I basically asked my followers on there which one they liked the look of better, the hoop hanging or the half moon hanging. And the half moon came out on top and they are really expensive. So I thought, you know, they look simple enough, so let's just make our own. So I've got pretty much everything that I need, apart from some stain. But other than that, I've got my piece of wood so I can measure out two half moon shapes. And then this is the yarn I used yesterday, which I'll be using for this. So yeah, so there's the brown. And then I've also got my white macrame hanging. So I just think them together, they're a nice contrast and they'll go really nicely on my arch wall, which I'll be showing you right now. Okay, so now we're gonna start. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually find my center point on this piece of wood. This is just a bit of birch ply that we had left over from Jane, my fiance's studio because we've got a birch ply studio set up in there. So yeah, that was just like a little off cut. So we've got 51 and a half. I'm gonna go right there. Okay, so that's my center point. So I found my trusty bowl to help me make my template and I'm now actually cutting it out. I did actually find a half moon yarn hanging on Etsy and they used the exact same photo that I showed you and I'll show you it again now. But they were selling it for 80 pounds, which I get that people have to factor in their time, but that just, that's a bit crazy. And obviously I wanted to look on Etsy just to see if it was worth my bank account and my time to just do it myself. So I do actually have a tip if you are a creative. I go onto Etsy sometimes and use it as if it's Pinterest, just to get an idea of what's trending and any projects, projects? Yeah, I guess project ideas that I can snap up and try and make myself because I do feel like I've, I've been blessed with being able to see something and then figure out how to make it kind of like a creative engineer's brain. And I love meeting people who have that same sort of, like they can just look at something and they, they know how to make it or how it works. I think that's really cool. So anyway, bubbling on, the entire thing goes on there really nicely. So I could actually make four. Okay, we're now going, I'm gonna take you with me. Let's go. <laughs> I'm just going to show you, ouch, <laughs> I just kicked something. Okay, I'm going to show you what this looks like, although you can't get a good gauge of what the size is. My hands are quite small. <laughs> I could do three, so I've been like one there, one there, and then literally one in like the middle of the two. Ooh, and then I could do one to give away. Should I do a little giveaway? I quite like the size of that, to be honest. Okay, I think we're gonna make four, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna make three for me and do like a little trio. And then I think I might do one to give away. So if you haven't already, go and follow me on Instagram. And yeah, let's do Facebook as well. So follow me on Instagram and face Facebook. Facebook, <laughs> don't know what I'm saying. I'll leave a link here and obviously down in the description so you can go and check them out. So now I'm just going to start drawing my template out. Okay so now I need to go and grab my jigsaw. We're about to get messy guys. <laughs> so I've had a look at my jigsaw and I can't actually use it for this project so instead I'm going to be using my hacksaw and just being really careful and obviously cutting as closely to the lines as possible. I'll be sawing outside so I don't think I'll need a mask but I do have some eye protection instead. So yeah now it's time to just cut the wood. I 
circle cut, two circles cut. So what I'm going to do is re-measure where the centre line is, cut them so I've got four half moon shapes and then I'm just going to give all of them a proper sand because they are a little bit ragged, I think that's the right word. So it's been a couple of hours now but I have my half moon wooden panels I guess. Because I'm in an apartment, I have kind of hit that time of day where I can't really do any like loud sanding with my mouse sander. I'm actually gonna be doing this tomorrow, but I thought whilst, whilst I've still got daylight and everything, I might as well go through how much cord I need. So I'm gonna do that now. I've just realized I've had my goggles on my head throughout that whole thing. I didn't actually talk about what the third colour would be, so I'm kind of thinking grey to go with the white and then obviously the brown. I think that's a really nice colour palette. I'm now going to start just like measuring out everything. I think what I have to do is just cut a main piece of cord and then everything else will be casted onto it. So I'm basically just measuring how much cord I'd need for the bottom. So basically attaching it as you would if it was like a macrame piece. So like I said, tomorrow I'll be sanding all the way around and a little bit on the surfaces as well, just to help me when it comes to like staining. That'll be tomorrow's job. So I think I'm going to start with We'll start with this one. This is what the brown one looks like. And I've just got up and looked in my mirror and it just looks so good. So that's kind of what it's gonna look like. Still really nice and long. I'm now going to do the same with the white and the gray. I'm not sure if I do want three up but I'm just gonna get it done just in case and then see how I feel tomorrow about it. So here is what the half moon pieces look like now. I'm really liking the dark walnutty stain that I used. So now the next thing is to grab my glue gun and basically stick these bad boys onto the back. fourth and final one this is the one that I'll be giving away so if you haven't already go and follow me on Instagram to be in the running of winning it and for this one obviously we're gonna go turn it over and I'll be adding my brown yarn to it these aren't perfect by any means but they're handmade and I've never done this before, so I've literally just sort of started it and figured it out on the way. If you are in the running of winning it, then you know, you've essentially saved yourself 80 pounds because as I mentioned earlier in the video, that's how much one of them was, which I found on Etsy and was what pushed me to want to make my own because I feel like I can pretty much figure out how to make most creative craft things. Obviously I'm going to trim these edges. The last thing that I actually need to do is figure out or find rather some hooks 
that I can screw in here just so I can actually put it up on the wall properly. That looks pretty good to me. Ta-da! Oh my gosh, it, oh, I'm really happy with these. And even though this one's got a slight overstain on the side, that can be sanded out. I might do that before I give it away properly. So these picture hooks have just arrived. I ordered them from Amazon and I'll be leaving the links to them down in the description below. The last thing now is to actually measure in the middle of all of these, find the center point and then basically screw these in. of how these yarn hangers turned out and I did not think that they were going to look this good. <laughs> Let me know what you thought of them down in the comments below and if you'd like to be in the chance of winning the giveaway then again be sure to follow me on Instagram and Facebook. I'll be leaving all the links down in the description so you can go and check them out. But yeah be sure to like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more videos just like this one and yeah I shall see you in the next video guys. Bye!